I do my head toss, check my nails, baby, how you feeling? Head toss, check my nails, baby, how you feeling? Welcome back to my channel, Cosmo by Kells here. Welcome back. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate you more than you know. Don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button and stay around to become a part of Kells crew. And for the rest of Kells crew, you guys definitely press the bell so you can always know every time I'm coming on here to upload for you guys. Now you can follow me on Instagram. That's where I, I am primarily, but I am trying to integrate back into Snapchat, even though I don't really understand what the hell is going on. I'm trying to get back on Snapchat, so those are my handles. You guys can also follow me there. So what I've got going on today is just a very, very everyday winter sleigh. As you can see, I went ahead and I colored my hair, and I did it myself. Um, actually, if you guys are interested in seeing how I came up with colors, let me know, leave a comment down below, and I can do a tutorial for you because I really love the way this color turned out. Um, I did this look because someone requested it. I've been on my Insta stories and I hadn't been doing any makeup looks or anything. They were like, you need to go ahead and do this everyday slay and let us know what you're using. So I went ahead and I did just that. If you guys want to see how I came up with this super glowy, everyday makeup look, of course, continue to watch. I've already gone ahead and done my brows and moisturized my face off camera. And now I'll be picking up my newest primer, which is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I was extremely skeptical about this, but this primer actually does its job. It creates a very smooth, silky barrier to your skin and also blurs my pores. Now to blur my pores even more, I always set a translucent powder over my primer and moisturizer just to set the moisturizer and primer essentially and to close the pores. Now picking up my Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick in the shade Golden Almond, I'll be applying that all over my face with a few drops of the Drunk Elephant Virgin Luxury Oil. This is such a good combination guys. I put this on the Beauty Blender and I work this into my skin and the Luxury Oil not only helps to smooth the foundation over my face but it also provides more moisture since we are in the desert and it's winter, there's no moisture out here. Now going in with one of my favorite concealers, you guys know it's the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Butterscotch. I just blended that in my highlighted areas. Now picking up my newest translucent powder, which is the Beauty Bakery Translucent Setting Powder. I was skeptical about this one at first because I had used it with a an extremely oily foundation that I don't usually use, so I was off put. But after using it with my other foundations, I love it. And just to set my face, I'll be picking up the Maybelline Fit Me Powder and Tan Deep and just setting everywhere that I hadn't set my highlighted areas. Next, I'll be picking up my Sigma Warm Neutrals Palette Volume 2 and going in with the shade Toasty. I'm picking that shade up with my Sigma E35 brush and sweeping this basically everywhere, um, my crease and a little bit over my lid just to create a transition color. Now picking up my tapered blending brush by Sigma, I will be focusing henna and the crease and blending that up and out. I love the way these shadows apply. These are not chalky and there's no fallout which is very important. You just put the base down and you blend and you blend and you get a good blend out of it and you're not losing so much product from fallout. Which is very important guys. You gotta stop going with the popular products and go with the quality products. Now picking up my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Tan, which is my favorite eyeshadow base. I'll be cutting my crease per sheet usual with my Smith's Cosmetic 212 brush. I love this brush. This brush is designed by makeup artists like the entire Smith's Cosmetics line. I really love their products. They're very quality brushes. They're not going to fall apart if you wash them. <laughs> now I'm just literally going over that um, concealer with the Beauty Bakery translucent powder and then just buffing it out and then redefining my crease with the same shade. And to create a more natural everyday look, I just went into the Dream Palette by Sigma um, X Beauty Bird and picked up the shade Tacos and Chill and just with an angled brush just created a wing with a brown liner instead of black. Thank you. 
Now I am just buffing away the excess powder. And do you guys see how smooth the Beauty Bakery powder is? It just it absorbs the moisture but doesn't leave you dry. Now picking up my Kat Von D shade and light palette, picking up the darkest shade, I will be contouring my face with a an angled contour brush. I just recently picked up this brush at Ulta and it was like, a last minute thing. I just loved how small and compact it was and the way it was shaped. Um, and I love the way that it just contours my nose and it just is easy to go around my nostrils. I really love that. I've been just using a fluffier brush, but I like the stiffness of this brush and that it's not a full size brush. So it's working out very well. You guys will not believe this, but I actually found a new bronzer, and it's by Beauty Bakery. Ding, ding, ding. It's the Better Not Bitter Cocoa Coffee and Cocoa Palette, and I just took Deja Brew, and I mixed a little bit of Your Grounded and went over my contoured areas. I really, really am loving the formula of Beauty Bakery. I just feel like Beauty Bakery has stepped out and snapped. Are you kidding? And then I picked up a little bit of the Antidepressal, which is the darkest shade in the palette, and just slightly you know put that over where it contoured just to give a little bit of uh, color back to it now sweeping the la vida mocha over my cheeks giving a beautiful flush of color now i wanted to add some extra glow to my skin so i went into my gold kit by solux cosmetics and picked up my liquid Gl gold Glow Drops in 24K, and then also the Loose Highlighter in Butter Baby. And I put this all over my shoulders, and I highlighted my cheek areas, and I really love this formula because it illuminates my skin so beautifully without being too glittery or transferring to my clothes. So I have really, really been loving Solux Cosmetics highlighting products. I mean, look at it, you guys. It's beautiful. Now just to highlight my nose, I picked up a little bit of the Dose of Colors Chasing the Sun highlighter and just put that on the tip of my nose. And also picking up the Eyelore and Jasmine Brown lashes, which are super light and has the invisible band. I put those on because they're very natural looking, but they also are very fluttery. Now I'm going in with my Sinuosity Lash by Sigma Cosmetics. This is my newest mascara and I really like it. I've been using it every single day. I'm using that and I'm sweeping that into my false lashes and blending those together. And now going back in with my tapered brush underneath my eyes, just sweeping out Tackles and Chill underneath my eye to create a very subtle, subtle, subtle smoke. And I'll just be putting the Loose Highlighter bus Butter Baby in my tear ducts and over my cupid's bow. Now I'm picking up that Maybelline Color Sensation lip liner and honestly guys, I have no idea when I got this. I kind of just reached for it because it complimented my hair, but I was having the most difficult time blending this out and it kind of stayed in the same place. So um, I had to work with it a little bit. I'm used to more expensive lip liners, um, but I, I don't think it's Maybelline. I think it was probably a little bit old so it wasn't blending out very well. But I picked up my Colored Drain Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Sugar, which is beautiful pink matte color. Um, and I blended those two together, and they looked really pretty, but again, like I said, I had to work with it a lot. So I ended up picking up the Drippin' Lip Gloss by Makeup Shayla X Color Pop um, and blending it together. Oh my head tall, check my nails. Baby, how you feeling? So this is the finished look. I hope that you enjoyed watching my little tutorial. Um, I did find my microphone actually to do a voiceover because my last tutorial, the Dream Palette, every time I was talking about a product, it just got lower and lower. And I got like five thumbs down on that video. And I was like, ah, oh, what the heck? 
what is going on so hopefully you guys being able to hear me will get me more thumbs up so don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like the content leave me a comment down below if you guys have any looks that you would like to see and if you guys want me to get any palettes or if I have any palettes and let me know if there's any makeup you want me to talk about I will be starting vlogmas this month I won't be doing it for the full month I'll just be doing it for about 14 days so you guys can come with me in my everyday life meet my family see what I do you know outside of makeup I would love for you guys to join me so don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching i'll meet you here next time in my next video